the impact of European and American and Russian and Chinese interference is a raw wound. It is not something that is in the past. It is something that is happening as we speak. And therefore, when we speak to it, we are speaking to it to warn ourselves of the reality. When we speak about the Danidas and the NGOs, these are bodies whose raison d'etre is to ensure that we remain in a perpetual state of begging. That is what we are doing to warn ourselves. And we are not for one minute saying that we will shut ourselves out from the rest of the world. What we are saying is that we must define how we engage with the whole world. And we are saying that as individual countries, we are weak and the rest of the world wants to operate and to deal with us in our weak state. The United States of America dealing with Rwanda on second-hand clothing. Rwanda cannot resist them. Burundi cannot. Kenya cannot. Uganda cannot. But if we are East Africa with a population of 300 million, we can. If we are Sadak, we can. If we are Ikowas, we can. So this is what we are saying. And we are saying further that going forward, we must also recognize our internal weaknesses. And what is our weaknesses? Chinua Achebe said it very well. The problem of Africa is simply and squarely one of political leadership. The rank of many political leaders in Africa are thieves. Let's call them by their name. They are thieves. They are individuals who are not interested in the interest of this country. And as long as we continue electing such individuals into positions of power across Africa, they are going to be manipulated. What then is the responsibility of the citizenry? The responsibility of the citizenry is to make demands. The chairman here, I hope he has received the several letters that I've written to him. I've written several letters to his organization talking about the role of the African Union in peacemaking, I wrote to, this, to the chairman only one, last week about the situation in Sudan, saying we must solve our own problems. And I want to see a crusading African Union so that it's not the Americans and the Saudi Arabians who are summoning them to Jeddah. It should be in Addis Ababa. In a nutshell, Joe, what I'm saying is that we have a responsibility to ourselves both at the leadership level and at levels of the civic society, we must be engaged in a positive manner and we must keep on shouting without being diplomatic because diplomacy is lulling us into a false sense of security. And lastly, I want to say this. When foreign powers come, we must always be reminded of these goodies that they bring to us. It used to be said, of the Trojan War, that even when the Greeks bear a gift, they do not mean well. They never mean well. And the sooner we say it, recognizing the external threat, recognizing